Hi, this is Pei. This is Monet. This is Corey. And this is Andy. We are graduate students at Indiana University in the Human Computer Interaction Design Program. And we're here to tell you about our concept for a new interactive movie theater experience. This design is targeted for five to 10 years in the future. We are making use of developing technologies that include aerial, perceptual cameras, and reverse electrovibration. Our augmented theater design is explained through the eyes of our future patrons. Our patrons will arrive at the theater to see the latest fantasy film. This film is set in a land of constant winter. They are allowed to choose their seats at the ticket booths and receive a set of augmented reality glasses. As they walk through the lobby, a virtual guide greets them and explains how the experience works and what they can expect. This guide finishes by explaining safety information and guiding them to the entrance to the theater. They open the door and enter a long hallway. They begin to walk down the hallway and slowly realize that the world around them is changing into an environment from the film. They notice snow appearing under their feet, and what used to look like a dry wall now is beginning to look like a forest scene. They reach out to touch the trees and can feel the barks under their fingers and their footprints appear in the snow. They reach the end of the hallway to find a door and open it. It's snowing as they enter a large snow-covered clearing. Trees and mounds of snow surround the clearing, creating a space for the participants to interact in. They see both characters from the film and other patrons interacting in the space. They see people reaching down and playing in the snow. The snow moves as they push their hands through it. Characters in the film run through the scene and throw snowballs at the patrons. Our patrons feel the snowballs hitting them lightly as they walk through the space. Suddenly, the virtual characters all start running to one end of the space. A shadow appears over the clearing, and a large snow dragon from the film appears. You will never escape me, he growls, and flies to the opposite end of the clearing over the tops of the trees. A character from the film runs by our patrons. Hurry, follow me before he comes back. They follow into what appears to be a cave entrance. Upon entering the cave, they find themselves inside a movie theater. The theater has a domed roof, and they see the walls of the cave in place of the movie theater walls. The seats they selected when buying their tickets are highlighted by the glasses, and they easily find their way there. As they sit, they see the screen is curved and extends into their peripheral vision. Their vision is completely filled with the screen, immersing them in the experience. When the film ends, they exit through a different door, which leads them through another long hallway, which slowly transforms back into the real world. They are able to visit a lounge afterwards to have a drink together and discuss their experience with each other and other patrons. When we are immersed in experience, the elements of experience so interpenetrate each other that we lose our sense of the separation of self, objects, and events. There is an opportunity to increase immersion by enhancing the total theater experience, and there is an opportunity to prepare engagement for the movie outside of the theater. Our experience begins in the lobby, moves to the slow change hallway, and continues on in the experience room. Patrons then enjoy the film in our immersive domed theater and are able to reflect on the experience in our lounge. Some of the technology used in this scenario includes perceptual cameras used to track our patrons' body positioning, allowing them to interact with the virtual environment, as well as track their eyes for more natural interaction with the virtual characters. Revel, reversed electrovibration, allowing our patrons to touch the walls and feel different textures. Aerial, compressed air pressure fields stimulating the user's skin, allowing us to create the feeling of snowballs in the virtual environment. This technology could be used to enhance the blockbuster film going experience and also bring new life into older, well loved films. Our designed glasses will include enough processing power to render this virtual world. The experience rooms could also be used in museums, zoos, aquariums, and other educational and entertainment venues. Thank you for allowing us the opportunity to describe our design concept. We look forward to sharing it with the wider audience at SIGGRAPH 2014 in Vancouver.